How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Now, on this video, I'm going to show you how to take one of these Plano ammo boxes and make it into one of these. So stay tuned. And just before I go, I've learnt a wee song on the harmonica. in the comments. Right, we'll just take a wee run through the tools and materials we're going to need to do this power box build. Right, first of all you're going to need a decent set of wire cutters and crimpers. They're a must. Obviously you've got your box. Now I prefer to use the, the Plano ammo box because it's got a rubber gasket it goes all the way around, it makes it, makes it waterproof basically. We've got a, a ruler to measure where you're going to put your holes. I've got a vernier. Now this vernier is to get the di diameter of the components that you're using. Unless you already know the sizes. So that's a handy retail. I've got a scalpel which we're going to need because there's a couple of wee bits of plastic in there that we need to cut away so we can get these a uh, couple of these in we've got drill bit now this is a cracking little bit of kit this 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 is a it goes for 2 mil up to 20 mil uh, it saves you having to change the drill bit uh, multiple times to do different size cuts so handy wee tool that We've got some grinding, metal grinding discs there if you need to grind any of the plastic away to make it smoother. If you've not got any of them, some sandpaper would do. We've got drill, got into the drill to do the, the holes. Uh, and I think that's it. Tools wise. Now, components wise, we're going to need a cigarette lighter, socket. USB socket, voltmeter, some velcro, we've got a six way blade fuse box there, we've got our wee rocker switches, we've got some black 16 gauge silicon wire this is, in the same with a red positive wire, 16 gauge. Now, on this build, I'm going to be putting on an SAE connector. Now, I do some kayak fishing, so this is going to be handy for me if I want to put what, a fish finder or a transducer in. So, that's got to be an extra one I'm going to put on there. I've got some uh, fish eyes LEDs bright LEDs, good LEDs there. We've got some jack plugs that we're going to need and some machine screws. That's if you want to drill that in, put it underneath. But I prefer to use the, the Velcro, but it's entirely up to you. Also we're going to need some fuses, which I've got in there, and some band ties. I'll just show you them there. Sorry for my picture. I'll put them in there just in case. That's just to tidy up all your wires and the fuses. I've got a selection of selection of different fuses here when I come to need them. So that's all, and you need obviously you need your spades, your your connectors for your wires, they're just a selection of different size ones so what I'll do is I'll, at the end of the video I'll put a link up to where I got all the stuff with I, I will say you don't want to pay funny money for your components I, I wouldn't buy them off of eBay or 
Amazon and everything like that. If you're going to buy your components, get them off of AliExpress. Now I was charged, priced, for one of these USBs. I think it was £7 or something like that they were looking for on eBay. Now I went on to AliExpress, I got five of them for £12. <laughs> and what's it? But two pound odds or two pounder two pounders a unit uh, the same goes with these here the cigarette sockets i think they're wanting like six pound fifty on ebay or amazon even i've seen some going for like eight pound odds again aliexpress one pound fifty seven well one dollar fifty seven cents which works out as one pound ten pence in sterling so it just shows you, shop around, because you'll dig at people out there that's got to try and rip you off. So shop around for your components. But as I say, I'll put the, the, the links to the descriptions of where I got the stuff at the bottom of the video. Uh, I don't want to see anybody getting ripped off. Uh, same with these. You need to watch where you buy these. Some of these go for like £14 odds, £11 odds, £9.99. I get two of them for like 12 quid. so it pays to shop around. So that's your tools and your components that you're going to need for the, to make this power box build. So what we'll do next is we'll get the, the box, we'll mark it all up and we'll drill the holes. So I've marked them up and I'm just going to start to drill the holes for the components to go in. the first one on. So I'll continue to drill all these holes and then I'll bring it back. So that's the top holes are drilled. I've drilled the switches and I've put them in. Drilled, as you can see. What I've done, I'll zoom in a wee bit and I'll show you. If we cut, cut away, that bit of plastic goes all the way along. You need to cut that bit away in order to get your, uh, your nuts in. So they'll just fit in there. So you just need to cut, cut that bit away there. There's a bit there where the other nut goes for your voltmeter. And a bit there has to be cut away. Now, what we'll do now is we'll put all the switches and that in and then I'll show you how to cut, you need to cut this bit of plastic away to put your uh, fuse blocks in. So we've got all, this, all the switches and that in and then we'll be working on the, the electrical side of it. Put the, the USB. Oh, 
the vineyard trough and it does get a bit, get a bit messy. So make sure you hoover it or not because this one is a wee plastic shard. You don't want to get that in your feet. Hey, that's the front of the box on. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put the rest of the stuff on and I'll, uh, I'll show you what I'll do here. machine screws in but I've just noticed that I've bought the wrong uh, the wrong nuts. I've bought M5 nuts instead of M4 so I just need to put a couple of these screws in first. Schoolboy era. Right glasses off. Right that's the box. Already just to wire up. I usually put the jack plugs on this side, I'll put them on this side for the change. It's just. I just watched it. It doesn't matter. Just the same. So. Hi. Look at that one I know. What a mate. I've just got that money wire up. So same again. It's just the same scenario. That's a, this is a different box, this isn't a uh, Lano box. I got this one off a uh, Is it AliExpress? I got that one. Right. That's also got a rubber seal in it, just different bolts. Slightly bigger. But aye. I've got to do this one first, so. I don't know, I just like these wee boxes. So that's it already. To wire up. That's the LEDs and that through there. And the SAE cables. So, next stage is to put the fuse box in and then start wiring up. Right, so the fuse block is going in there. So, what we need to do is we need to take a bit of plastic from underneath away so that sits flush. One there, so right. What I had to do I had to take the uh, the voltmeter out to get in it. Couldn't get in it with that, so I took that out. So I put that back in. Uh, I need to put this in anyway first because I'll show you what you need to do. Find the knot.
Now what you need to do is you need to get You can see that stuff, can you? I'll bring it out here. Right. Obviously that will not fit on because of these wee pins here on your voltmeter. So what you need to do is you need to carefully just bend them. Just do it slowly. So you have the velcro in there, you have your cable going onto there. So I'll just show you what I mean. That's the velcro. So I'm just going to score that. And then we get this bit. I prefer using this instead of drilling the uh, drilling holes in the box. To be fair, I'll just sit on there like that. That's not going anywhere. Saves having to drill holes in there. I think the less holes, the less holes in your box, the better. So that's one there, like that. That's not moving there. So if you want to take it off, it just comes off like that. Simple. That's still on there, solid. So, so we're going to the. The wiring up there. This will be fun. Ah, I'm liking it. It's easy. Straightforward. So, as I say, I'll take you step by step through it. There we go. But I'm going to get tidied up a wee bit first. And then uh, I'll bring this back and I'll, uh, we'll start wiring. Right, the wire inside it. Now what I've done, I've added a couple of extra LEDs on the tap, red ones, just for if I'm in the tent in my bivvy. I've got like an ambient light. I like to look a bit for stuff. I've got a light there. I just need to switch that on. And I've put a wee switch on the side for these LEDs. Now the battery I'm using is a 12 volt. 12 amp hour lead acid battery. You're better off with the lithium batteries, but they are a wee bit more expensive. But I probably will get one for this box. So, start off, I've pre cut some wires, as you can see, instead of going through every individual snippy of wire, I've pre cut some wires. So, the video doesn't take as long. Now, You've got your fuse box here. Now the first thing you want to do is your fuse box will sit in there on top of your voltmeter. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to get a piece, a 
positive wire and just take it for that first terminal run to your screw now on one side it will be a spade and on the other side it will be a ring terminal so we'll just put that in now there and just slightly bend that down again and on the other side you'll want a negative terminal which will be this one but you want a spade on the one side on the one side but leave that one blank for the minute because that'll end up getting crimped when we come to day or the, the negative side of it so same again just gently push that down now once that's in place get your fuse bolts and put it into place just like that right and then with this wire take it in here take the wee nut off and sew on your fuse bolts and put that one here like that. And get the screw on. So might go on. Go there. So that's that in place there. That's your first connection, positive wire. Now, your next connection, you want to take a length coming from your positive on the battery. When you're putting your battery in, make sure it's right up against the end because if you want to adjust it, you're going to have the cable there, the wire there to move it anyway. Right? So you want to take it for the furthest point and on your power switch, this is your first switch which is going to be here. You might have put that into there. I wouldn't connect it up now, but you know that that's got to be connected into there. Now that's your power. That's your power in is your first one. Now your next one is going to be, you can find it. There's your power out. Now that there. We'll go into your power out and that's going to go into your top of your fuse box. And then just put the nut back on. Some reason this nut doesn't want to go back on. Let's put the engine up. There we go. And it goes on there. So that's that's your power. That's going to power your voltmeter. Now these are all going to be individually switched. So you've got your wire coming to your first terminal and then your second terminal you've got a wire going to the top of your fuse box and obviously you've got one coming for the voltmeter to the top of the fuse box now what we're going to do now is we're going to work on the negatives before we start putting all the positives in so what I've already done for my SAE connector I've went ahead and put a ring terminal on the positive and a ring terminal on the negative. So they'll just get left at the one side the now. And on here I've got my two front LEDs. Now these wires are very very thin. You've got two wires in the one wire which you've got a positive and a negative 
Now what you want to do is you want to take the positive for the two wires. Make sure you've got a, a big bit of sheet on it, a bit of wire because it's dead thin. So you can kind of fold it and then twist it because they are quite, uh, quite thin these wires. So you twist your two LEDs, positive wires together and then you crimp on a blade. So that's ready to be connected up. Now, what we want now is we've got our negative wires. So you can just pull them down a bit. Because this has got to connect to this switch here. Okay. Your negative wires. Now, you want to, that's your negative on the top there on that switch. So what we want to do is we want to connect all the negatives together. So same again, take a piece of negative wire, roughly up to the first terminal on that switch. Crimp the one end, that'll be ready to put in your battery. Now what you want to do now is get your negative wires off the two LE, your two front LEDs because these are going to be twisted together right so we'll cut a bit here we'll cut these two wires in there and then we'll crimp these, take the wire off them, shut the wires. This is where these wee uh, wire strippers come in handy because a wire is that thin. See how thin the wires are. It's quite uh, fidgety. That's two. Now, with these two wires, the two negative wires, you want to twist them together. Ah, dead, dead, then. Then you want to get your negative for your battery and also twist it in. Twist them in that. So you've got that like that. Right? So what you want to do now is you want to get another piece of wire because what we're going to do here we've got to put a ter terminal on these we've got to put a blade on here twist it on there and then that will go into there and then we've got to do like a daisy chain effect so if you get the right size of wire I've already cut one so let's talk about it through there through there right, right so you want to get this wire also and twist twist them together so you get something like that that's what it's going to look like if you want to make it even better just get a pair of Along those pliers. Like that. So you've got one coming for your battery. Going to connect them to your front LEDs negatives. Then, then you need this wire 
so you can connect it to there for a daisy chain effect. So I got my crimps. I'm going to use a blue one because they're I think they're slightly bigger. The holes are slightly bigger. And then what you want to do is you want to toss that on there like that. Like so. And then get your crimps. And crimp that one there. Like so, so you've got what, three wires coming out of that there, or four wires. Just make sure they're well crimped and they don't come out. Because every wires are not there. there we go. Right, so you've got LEDs, you've got your main battery coming for the battery. And you've got this wee off cut bit which is going to go to your negative terminal on your jack plugs, right? So we'll just put this into here like that. Into the negative port, like so. Right. Now what we've got now is we've got this bit. And then we've got to need to go for the negative on the jack to the negative on the, that's the USB. So what we want is we want to put these two together like so and we want a ring terminal on this one. Make sure that fits over top of that because they're all different sizes. Right. And then put that ring terminal right in. You can see the wire just stick at the end there. And give that a crimp. Just get a wee pull, make sure it doesn't come out. Right, so that is going to go to this jack. Uh, I tell you what, that's got to go to that one because I need to come back the way. So that's going to go to it. that way, that way, that way, that way. This one. So, get this off. So that's going to go over right there. Put that on. Get this over top there. Yeah. Use the big one. Skull boy error. Yes. So I'll pull that off. Let me come off a minute now. Like right, this. So 
stone. Now, try this again. Crimp up. Just make sure they don't come out. Then, that'll go into there. Put your washer on. And then, and then I'll just put them on one tight in there. So now we've rectified that problem. We're about to go for your negative terminal to the negative terminal on this one. So what we want is a spade, another piece of wire to go from there to there. So same again. When you crimp them, make sure when you strip the wires, make sure you take a good bit of the sheath off so your wires can be straight on either the blade oh my god you'll see the wire coming out the other side of the blade and then crimp crimp get one for good luck crimp and just check they don't come out. So you're going for your jack negative to the USB. And I'll just go into there like that. And then you want to go for the negative on your USB back to the negative on your other jack as I say it's just it's just like a daisy chain going from there to there to there and so we want a, a ring terminal and they're hiding under the yellow ones that's why I couldn't find them so you want another ring terminal then you want a piece to go from there to there so the same again just twist these together and what I might actually do is with this I've got this LED on the top so what I'll do, I'll just put that in with this terminal as well. So it's going in like that. So cut that a bit. A bit there. It's just joining up all your negatives. Because as I say, it's dead to thin the wire. And I usually do is just bend it over. To try and make it a wee bit thicker. And then just try and wrap that in there. See how we go with that. And we want another ring terminal. Just twist it on. And get a crimp.
Right, so that's, that's your mega from your battery to your switch to your jack to your USB to your other jack and obviously that's picking up the LED there. So that will just get cut away. And that can just get cut away. Down the road. Right now, so we want to go from your jack, negative jack, that the road, to the negative on this switch. Now it's all spades, all the ring terminals are finished, we know, so it's all spades all the way down. So Spread. I have to put a couple down there. I'm going to go through there, through there, through there, through there. See if we can just twist, twist the wires like that. A bit of wire showing there. A bit of little days, I'll put some electrical tape on that so just put that in there. And there they are. Now, the best bet today is. this one or this one to there to there to there to there to there twist So, and again, just get another yank, make sure I don't come out. And that's going to be that one. You could make the wires a wee bit shorter, but I don't know why to take these chances in case I did it too short. So, you're going again, same again. I'm going for there to there.
Значит. Спит. Just repeat the process. So I'll, be, I'll just carry on with these other two, and then when I get to the last one, I'll bring you back. Right, we'll turn to the last connection. Now we've got this one, the last negative. Now you've got your negative from your fuse box, so that has to be joined together. And you've got your black negative to join on there as well so we'll just snip that Disconnect on the negative, which is there. Just like so. So, that's all the negatives connected. Now I've got my SAE meter uh, connector here, I should say. Now I'm going to put this wire, the one that's already got the uh, ring on it, I'm going to put that on to that one as well, onto the negative. That way when I want to go and try and charge the battery, I can switch the power on and the jack plugs and that will take instant power to the, the battery. Make 
sure we can see well with each other. I must have bought fingers, me. So now all that's left is to, is to do all the positives. Positives to be done. Right. Positives. Right, we've got the two LED positives. Which are there. They'll connect. In the middle, one of the switch, like so. Now, once all your negatives are connected, we'll connect the power to the battery. We'll just make sure the voltmeter is working. If the voltmeter is working, Everything's alright. So, this is the voltmeter. Oh, look at power. That's spot on. 11.8 in that battery. So, now, it's just to connect up all the positives. So, we'll start off. I'll just disconnect this battery again. Just keep myself safe. Make sure they don't touch. Right, so. We want to go from this one to that one, and then what we'll put in there is we'll put a red LEDs in there, and then you can go from this one that's what we'll, it. we'll go from this one to that one and we could probably make that power LEDs we could make that the we'll make that the USB here. So I've got a wire. So then just measure them. Take that for there. Put that on there. And we'll put it on there. Come on. Like that. See it going through the middle. Middle one. To your USB. And we've got this one, get me that the voltmeter. That's going to be the jack. So we'll make this the voltmeter. So we'll take that one for there, and I'll we'll put in the that one. Like so. Right. Let's 
so and then we'll take one from there jacks so we will need to this one need to take one for the power jack switch I'm just hoping these fuck these to the positive one there to the positive one there oh mate just get away with that so I'll take that just hide the wires underneath I did have another screw but I don't know where it's went. So I'll just put that one there. Screw this screw on if it fits. See if we have a problem putting screws on. Oh, there we go. I'll just put that one there. And then this one going to the positive and here oh it just fits it just fits just fits for a stretch I've got a wee spanner set there, but I'll just use this. Right, let me just have a look at this now. Thank you. 
use is push on to the state of wires. Right, there you have it, that's the set up. It's pretty straightforward once you've done it once. You know, you seem to know what you're doing the second time around. So, what we've got to do now is we've got to put some fuses. Put some fuses in. Yeah. And then, let's see where we go. So, let me see what for you. So, first one, we've got the USB, so I don't think that's going to draw any more than. Fuse box on here. Right, we'll go and just put the same ones in. This is in here. So we'll put that in there. These are just five amps up, I don't know. This one here. That's let's see. Oh my books here in the arms. Some fuses. Right. this up and we'll see what happens. We'll go for some walks. Right. Moment of truth. Now this has got to be individually switched so that's your voltmeter. So we're on eleven. 8 volts now. This is the red LEDs. I'm hoping these are going to work. Oh, there you go, spot on. Uh, that's your USB voltmeter. Hey, your USB port. That is your cigarette lighter. That is your jacks, and hopefully the one at the side here. Oops, let me switch it on first. Hmm, yeah, what's happened there? Why is that going? I'll tell you why. I've not got a cable. I've not got a cable on. <laughs> Schoolboy hour. Right, we'll take it to. Oh, one more. 
Let's see what I've got. I'll go for the, the a bit longer, maybe. A longer one. Right. Right. Let's make sure that's switched off. That's off, that's off, that's off. Right. It's not working because I've not got this cable in yet. So, I'll go there. And that'll go there. It's a bit long that way. I'm going to snip that a bit. Snip that a bit there. Too long that. Snip that there. I thought we were finished. Well, obviously not. Schoolboy error. Keep going. And just put them up. One more there. One. And it's this one. <laughs> and this one. Right. Let's try that again. So we'll put the case back on there. Ties in that one to kind of tidy the wires up a little bit, but just for illustration purposes only. Right, hopefully it'll work this time. Just make sure when you put nothing in there, you don't catch any cables. Right, let's go through this again. Power, power button. No, the other power buttons will come on, and this this button comes on. That's your that's your master button. Back, I have a problem with my US with my uh, LEDs. I have found the problem with my LEDs. I've put a fuse on. <laughs> Come on, in. waiting up, son. Right, let's try that. Back on there. Right. Hopefully this time. I thought I'd miswired something there. Right. I'll open it up. Fingers crossed, eh? Power. LEDs. USB. Must be a slight cable there. USB. That is cigarette. It's your jacks. Now yeah, hopefully these will work. There you go. Front LEDs. So there you have it. Now I think what's happened there is. No, that's all right. I thought maybe a couple of the fuses. I'd have blew, but the, the fuses I'm using, majority of the fuses are like 3 amp, so it's plenty. USBs, I would put maybe a 5 amp in, because you're drawing more power because you've got two USBs in there. But, 
that's it, that's, I'm quite chuffed with that. So, let's just get, let's tidy it up a wee bit. Now well, that's the the box finished. I hope this video was helpful to you. Yeah, if you're planning on making one of these. No, I'm not the best at uh, doing stuff like this. There's probably a lot better videos out there that can explain it a lot better. But I've tried my best. Uh, but that's a finished product here. It's I'm quite happy with it. As I say, voltmeter, the red LEDs, I actually put them on because if I'm doing fishing or camping, uh, you wake up during the night and you don't want to blind the place with putting lights on and that, you can put the red lights on, it's, they're going to be bright enough for you to find what you're looking for, so that's why I put them on. Uh, your USB, that's your... Cigarette lighter socket. That's do, 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 your jack plugs. Now, obviously, with your jack plugs, with my ACE adapter, if you ever want to charge this, make sure your power zone and your jack plugs. That way, that's got to let you charge that battery in there with an ACE adapter. If you want to charge it that way, or you can either charge it with some wee crocodile clips or something on there, or directly to your battery. And then the front LEDs. So there you have it. That's the the power box build. Once you've done it once, it's it, it's a piece of piece of cake basically. Uh, you're only Jockeying up all your negatives and then doing your positives. So, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've not subscribed to the channel, please be subscribing. If you like the video, get a wee thumbs up. Because uh, I'm quite, uh, I quite like doing stuff like this. So, there'll probably be another project on the pipeline somewhere. So, I'll leave it at that. So, thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you again. And don't forget to leave a comment about my uh, harmonica uh, tune. Good, eh? See ya.